Hi, I'm Dale from MD Indie Reviews, and I wanted to do an updated review on the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. How you guys doing today? I hope you're having a good day. Um, per my last um, video on the Google Cyber Certificate, um, I promised to do an updated review of the um, certificate program, and I, I had a few I had a few concerns um, as I began to do the course. My last video, I stated a few things. I stated that one, I would I would do a review when I got halfway through the course. I'm um, cu currently on course number four. That will be the halfway mark, and I also stated um, that. A lot of the people who were leaving a review of this Google Cybersecurity course were people who probably were already in the field, and for the most part, I, I did my I did my homework to, and I went back and watched the videos just to make sure I, you know I, I wasn't mistaken. And for the most part, I, I was right. Most of the people who did the cybersecurity um, program um, and have a review on YouTube were people who were already in the field. Now, I will say um, my update is is really some critique for Google. So if you're taking the program, the cybersecurity program, um, w once you get to um, the fourth course is where the challenges begin and, and where you really start to see, I, I guess, just, just the lack on Google's part um, as it comes to the teaching style. The first three courses were were um, f fairly simple. You know, you just intake information, you, know, you do a lot of reading assignments and you watch videos and you take the quizzes and after each course, you take the end of each course, you take, you take a test nine to ten questions now when it gets to the fourth course is when they begin to implement labs and the first lab was pretty 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 fairly understandable you know you um they tell you what to do on the side um i may have it on my screen just to, just to show you but when it comes to the second um lab is where you actually begin to to feel to wonder if you're just inadequate to really um proceed in the program from, for, for myself and at first I was wondering if it was just me but then I, as I began to do my research um, and I actually read uh, quite a few of the discussion on forums on the Google um, certificate um, program they have discussion forums and I realized that it, it wasn't just me who wasn't really understanding the, the, the labs after the first one you know it was, it was it was quite a few people who were saying um, did I miss something I'm not understanding um, how to do the labs so forth and so on. And so um, I even refer back to my buddy who's even in the course. And upon talking to him, he, he you know, also said, no, he's not just you. Um, I myself, you know, have been stuck on the fourth lab now, you know, for quite some time. And before I, um, I got to the, the fourth program, the fourth course, which is when they do the labs, I was moving through the course fairly well. Um, I would do the course in about, I would do a course a week. Um, so I would do uh, each course has four sections. I was, I was doing I was doing a section a day, which took me about an hour and a half to two hours, which is fine. Now, when you get to the fourth course, the the problem, or, or should I say, the disconnect that I found is that, and this morning before I, um, this morning when I you know when I got home from work, somebody from the um, Google Cybersecurity program, a, another student had actually messaged me, and was like, no, it's not just you. It seems that <clears throat> the labs are more advanced than what the videos are actually showing you, you know. And so, uh, you know, um, I, I've been stuck on the second and third lab for like a couple of days now. You know, I've been I've been stuck on it for a while. So, the first thing that you know you start to think is, wow, am I going to get to finish this program, or should I go back and and and, and review? Because um, the labs are based off Linux. Let me say that the labs are based off of Linux. So if, if you don't really have a good understanding of Linux, then it may be a problem, which is where I felt the disconnect was from Google because the Google um, course, the videos are about four minutes long um, when they're talking to you about Linux and, and they show you about a 25 to 30 second clip of what to do in Linux um, for, you know, on, the, uh, on the four minute video, but it doesn't really justify um, or it doesn't really make sense when you, when you go to, to the labs, the labs are more like in depth, they have you more, they have you doing more things, it, it would seem. So one of the things that, that I found that I've had to do to kind of caveat or kind of um, to help with that is I've had to actually click off the Google cybersecurity program and I've had to actually go on YouTube and look up 
um, Linux fundamentals or Linux one on one, um, which to me in itself is a problem. It's a problem because if I'm teaching you a course about a program and you have to click off my 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 course to go find more information somewhere else, that just means that I, I basically I didn't I didn't do a good enough job at, at making sure you understood the fundamentals. And when with the fourth with the fourth course in the labs. I think a lot of it is that if you don't understand the fundamentals, the um, the labs become much more difficult. Now, this morning, somebody uh, messaged me from um, Coursera. I don't know if it was somebody from a Google staff or just somebody from the actual Coursera staff, but they said that you know you're right. The Google Cyber Certificate, the um, the fourth course is Linux, and those who taken the course should have a should have a a, a great fundamental understanding of Linux. They said, if not, it could become very difficult for you. And they said, even as you progress in the program, the labs only get much more harder, which I would agree. So they recommended me to do, um, they, they sent a link of uh, three um, Linux classes on Coursera, which again, to me, is an indictment on Google because I feel like one, Google probably should have just taken a whole course or maybe maybe they will. Maybe Google will see this video and they'll they'll do that. But they should have just taken a whole, made a whole course in itself before you got to uh, the, the, the four, or maybe make a Linux course, the fourth course. Where they go to the fundamentals and they go to the basics. So you understand when you get to the fourth course. I mean, well, that would be the fifth course, you know what I'm saying? But it's it's really just a lot of things that I felt like Google lacked. And um, I, I don't want to go on a tangent all day and, and bash Google because I feel like the, the cybersecurity program, it's a, it's a good program. It really is. Um, even the uh, person that I was talking to, um, my other classmate who's taking the program as well, on Coursera, responded to me on the Google on the Google um, class form. It was like, you know, Google really should have done more to make sure that people have the, uh, understand the fundamentals. And even she said out of her own mouth, it seems like what they're what they're teaching you in the videos and what they're actually doing in the labs is is the be- the, the labs are kind of too advanced for what they're showing you in the videos. The videos don't really go that much in depth. And I'll give you an example real quick. The Google video on Linux is about four minutes long. Them actually showing you the Linux on the screen is about 25 to 30 seconds long. So in a four minute video, you're showing the students 25 to 30 seconds of the Linux on the screen. Most of the, the video is like what you're seeing here. You're seeing a person talk and look at a camera, which to me, I was like, well, that's kind of, I, I, I thought it was kind of off-putting because I'm like, well, shouldn't you be on, on, show me on your screen what you're doing, give me step-by-step guides and tutorials, but they didn't do that. So back to my point. When you go on YouTube and you search um, Linux fundamentals or, or Linux basic commands, the shortest video is 20 minutes. And that guy is kind of doing like a, a, a rush style but he's showing you on screen step by step what to do the longest videos are about an hour and a half to two hours long what's my point my point is is google how can you do a linux tutorial for 25 to 30 seconds and then give somebody an hour lab that well i'm sorry that the, the, the labs give you an hour time frame doesn't take you an hour to do them you know unless you're like me and you didn't get it I, I've, I've been stuck on the second third lab for a couple of days now this is my third day Still haven't got the hang of it yet, which is an, again, it's an indictment on Google. Second, I got my notes right here, so don't, don't, um, don't, yeah, no real help. If you need help with the course at any point, there's no real help. There's no one really there to help you out. Um, most of the discussions are text based, meaning you ask a question and people will get back to you whenever they're available. You know, um, I asked a question a couple of days ago and the, um, somebody got back to me this morning. Uh, it was another student uh, who had the same issues that I had. So there's no real help. If you're somebody who's not very technical or you come to the point in, in the program like I did in the, in the fourth course, you, you may be tempted just to give up and quit because there's no one really there to help you. There's no way that no one there to actually walk you through what um, you may be under, not understanding. And again, that's, that's a problem. 
You know, I found that was a problem, you know, because it's like, well, how can I, how can there be a program? And if I need help, there's no one there to help me. Besides me asking the question, and those really don't do you justice when you get to the labs because, you know, you have to be able to actually see on screen what they're doing and they have to be able to understand, you know, what you're not getting. So they can just um, give you a general um, conversation through a text saying, hey, you know, um, try the A, B, C, and D, which is what the, which is what the young lady did. She said, try B, C, and D, and, you know, hope that helps. And it's like, okay, you know, cool. I appreciate somebody getting back to me, but that doesn't really help you out if you're not understanding something. So I, I think for a lot of people who take the program, um, I feel like most will just figure it out. Most will just take up a lot of time on those parts and figure it out. Eventually, I feel like some will just give up because it's like, you know, for those like myself, I have a set schedule that, that I choose to cut out and do the program every day. You know, I have three kids, I work a full-time job, and I, and I have other duties that I have to do on my husband, on, you know, my father, as I just stated. So I don't really have three, four, five hours a day to sit and try to figure out the program. And my wife was actually getting frustrated with me because I was taking like, usually I'd do an hour and a half to two hours a day. Really, was I doing two hours to do an hour and a half? I was doing four or five hours trying to figure this stuff out. And she was like, hey, um, babe, you know, I understand you're on school, but you know, doing school work, we, we, got, we got things that we, gotta, we have to get done. You know, can, can you can you kind of you know bring it to a, a stop or help me finish up? So what I ended up doing um, with the because um, usually the first three courses each course had four sections. This course has about six sessions sections. So I, so for a few of the sections, I ended up just skipping the labs and just um, taking the quizzes. And you know you know of course I passed them because the quizzes are more so asking you um, about Linux and things like that, which you learn in the videos and in the text style form. But the um, the actual labs are more so to help you get a concept of how to use Linux at um, the OS. And my second gripe is is that I'm sorry, not my second my second gripe. It, in addition to what I just said, um, Google when it comes to the um, the learning style or the teaching, I'm sorry, the teaching style, a lot of the things that Google like Google would put most of the commands for Linux. And like with a, uh, I would say like a PDF or like a um, a word text style um, um, form on the program, on the on the course on the website. And I felt like Google, why didn't you just put that in a video and have the instructor doing it on screen showing you? That way, it would have given you a better understanding or a better concept to how to grasp um, how to actually use the commands. Because it's it's weird being in a in a I'll say a, a tech cybersecurity um, program. And a lot of the tutorials is just someone looking at a camera talking to you. Why not go on screen and show people? Like when they when, when they showed you how to when they introduced you to Linux, they they told you about it. Why not just actually do a, um, a screenshot or a, or, or a, a, a video recording of someone actually going into Linux so they can actually see if you've never seen it before? My um, and my third the third problem or critique that I had with Google with the cybersecurity program. Is that Google owns YouTube? They own Google Meets, which was formerly Google Hangouts, which is a, a video a video um, platform where you could um, you know talk to somebody like like um, like like FaceTime, you know Apple or um, a, you know Android, you know just FaceTime. So I was thinking to myself, why why wouldn't Google implement Google Meets and say, hey guys, we recommend you guys to you know if you need help to contact you you know one of your peers that's also taking the program you guys you know set up a time um when you guys are good to talk and because google meets it has a feature where you can share your screen which would have been wonderful for this program it would have been wonderful because if you're somebody it's a part of it that you're not getting you can you can contact you know one of the students and they can um and i feel like it should have been implemented in the program so you wouldn't have to kind of do it to yourself with, or, or you know kind of say hey um is it okay if i talk to you was kind of would have Come on, make him off as a little weird, you know. Uh, maybe it won't, but it just depends on the person. So I feel like you know Google should have used all their tools that they had at their disposal. If they would have said, "Hey guys, this is this is Google Meets. Um, here's a, here's a link to it. If you don't have a Google um, you know account, please set one up during the program. If you find that you need help, you can go to this um, Google Meets and you know um, ask people to join you that they can share the screen with you and show you what you're doing, or you can share their screen with them and show them what you're doing. That would have been an excellent excellent way to get help even if you could talk to a google instructor i mean 
I don't think that's really possible because Google, uh, um, you know, too many students and you know that, that that could take up a lot of time. And even if Google wanted to charge you extra to be able to do that, but that would have been something that Google could have done to help those who really want to do the program, but who might get discouraged and quit because I've been stuck on this lab for two weeks, or I've been stuck on this lab for three, four days now, and I'm, I don't know what to do. And there's no way to really get any help around that if you don't know what, if you don't know what to do. Besides, like I said before put the program on pause, go take a Coursera course on um, the fundamentals of Linux, which again, that's an indictment on Google. Why do I have to leave your program to go to another program to learn something that you should be teaching me already because it's your program? That doesn't make sense. you know. So I think I'm going to try the lab again today when I get off you know, this recording. Um, and if I don't get it, I'm going to just go ahead and... Um, probably put a put a pause on my subscription and just do a um a Linux uh, fundamentals course and then go back to the program because I don't want to be paying fifty dollars a month. Um and I'm not I'm not in the currently you know and I am not doing the, the, the coursework for the program. Which I think is a again it's it's just um it's just a, 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 an indictment on Google and the teaching style. Um I will say to and maybe in their defense they, they didn't think um they thought most people probably would get it. And I, I do, I understand, you know, I'm not somebody that's trying to bash Google. Um, I'm, I'm a part of Google's ecosystem. Most of my phones and my laptops, are, you know, my, my, I'm using right now, I'm using a Chromebook. Um, my phone, is, it, 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 it's a Pixel phone. So I'm, I'm, I'm heavily invested in the Google ecosystem. So um, I wouldn't want to, you know, I wouldn't want to trash Google, um, you know, intentionally. But I, I think that just as a student and someone who really wanted to take the course, who, who's in the course and who really, came to a point where like, I really need help and there was no way no no way for me to get help there was no one to help me that's a problem that is a big problem that people can people have to pay for your course and they come to your course and they get to a point where they get stuck and there's no one to help them out there's no way for them to get help that, that, that's a problem you know so Google I think you guys should really implement the Google Meets in there and just encourage students to hey you guys should you know encourage you to meet up if you need help here's the link do so um, just to kind of give people, you know, you know, um, um, give people like a remnant, a remnant of hope, because nowadays it's easy for people to get discouraged if they, you know, do something and they they can't get it, they'll they'll just give up, you know, they'll just give up. And for me, because I really want to make a career move, I don't want to take that approach. I want to actually learn the material, know what I'm doing, even if I have to, like I said, put the subscription on hold and go do another course about Linux fundamentals and come back at a later time. You know, I, I plan on doing that, but. That's not a good look on, on. That's not a good look for Google. That a student would have to do that. Um, I will say, if you want to contact me, or if you want to um, leave a comment in the review, do so. But I will leave my email because on my last um, video I did uh, of the Google Cybersecurity Certificate, Google they they um they they put a stop to my they disabled my comments. Why I don't know. I don't know why. When I went online and read the um and asked, you know, was reading why because maybe you said something that's against Google's community rules I'm like what does that even mean you know I, I there was nothing in the video that was inappropriate I didn't curse I didn't talk about anybody so I, I don't know I don't know what Google was doing you know I don't know maybe Google just didn't want anybody to put out misinformation that they, they felt about their program which I didn't everything that I said was factual and you know it was true you know up to that point so um, I will leave my email in the description so if you want to you know contact me if, my, if, by, if by chance my the comments are disabled you'll be able to do so so again, my name is Dale from MD MD Reviews. Um, if you're taking the Google course, I just wanted to just I just wanted to just encourage you. You know, um, you might have to actually go outside of Google and learn Linux yourself because they don't they do a poor job at, 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 at teaching it. They do a really poor job. You know, and, and, and even even some of the labs were actually broken. Some of the labs um, when you do the labs, especially some of the ones that were fairly fairly simple, you find that the labs don't respond too well. And then when I when I did my when I looked up the question and, and, and looked up did research for myself on Coursera, Coursera actually tells you, yeah, some of our labs are broken, they don't work, they don't grade properly. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but again, so if if you get to a point in the course where the labs are not responding too well, it's probably the, the labs are probably broken. Or if you get to the point in the program where you you're just stuck and you're lost, you know, maybe I'll do that. Maybe you know I'll leave a um I'll I'll leave a link to Google Meet so if those who are currently in the program. And you want help 
you, you can reach out to me um, via email, and, and you know, and I'll and we can contact via Google Google Meets because I I'm, I know I might need the help. I appreciate I, could, I would definitely appreciate the help as well. So not only would, would I be helping you, you also will be helping me as well. So thank you uh, for tuning in again, Dale from MD Indie Reviews. Have a good day and um, good endeavors as you as you journey um, to your career path to cybersecurity.